Hi guys, how are you all doing? Today we're going to make a curry. We're going to make my favorite curry, Hanglei curry. Um, it's my version of my favorite curry from my favorite Northern Thai restaurant, Hu and Jai Yong. So let's make our curry. Right, first guys, what we're going to do, I'll get some ginger. Uh, we need to peel it, peel the skin off the ginger. Now you can use a peeler, um, but you'll find it is actually quite hard to actually peel the ginger. And a, a tip is to use a spoon, and it is very easy to take the skin off the ginger. Very easy indeed. So we need to peel the ginger, and then we're going to slice it, and we're going to julienne it. We want about a half to three quarters of a cup of thin matchstick uh, ginger to actually put in our curry. Okay, we're going to make a curry paste from scratch. So we want one teaspoon of salt in our mortar, um, and we want about a good heap tablespoon of lemongrass, which is about two bottom halves of the lemongrass stalk. So what we want to do is actually slice it thinly, uh, which makes it easier for uh, grinding up with the pestle in our mortar when we make the paste. Now galangal is quite a hard rhizome. Um, it's a fantastic herb, but what we have to do is thinly slice off some um, pieces before chopping it to help us smash it up in the mortar. We're going to use the skin of a kapha lime fruit, uh, just shave a little bit off. We don't want to take it down to the pith, uh, the white bits, because that's very bitter. And then again, we want to just chop it up so small. Uh, we want about a teaspoon of uh, kapha lime fruit skin to give us our citrus flavor in there. Three coriander roots, nicely chopped up. Again, everything's got to be chopped up small to make into a paste. Um, it just makes it so much easier. After soaking six chilies um, to make them go soft, uh, we just need to slice those up and put that in as well. Add seven dried chilies, that's going to give us our heat. The big chilies are there for the color. Um, add about ten cloves of garlic and just yeah give everything a mash in you know but to make this paste you could actually make this paste in a blender add half a ta tablespoon of shrimp paste and about 10 small red shallots sliced up again we're slicing everything just to make it easier to grind up that's it guys that's our paste finished now on with the pork now with our pork, I'm using one and a half kilos of um, belly pork and we need to slice this into about good one inch thick pieces. Now the pork will shrink with cooking. We are going to cook this for about three hours. So the pork will reduce whilst cooking. Okay guys, let's just add our red chili paste. Then we need to add our Hangley curry powder. Now if you don't have Hangley curry powder, you can put in about one, two tablespoons of a good Madras curry powder and a teaspoon of garam masala. Add a good tablespoon of soy sauce. And then we need to add a good tablespoon of oyster sauce.
and then what we're going to do is add about half a tablespoon of black soy sauce now the black soy sauce is in there just to give it a really deep rich color add half a tablespoon of sesame oil now I'm adding a chicken stock cube but you can add chicken or a pork stock cube and then we need to give it a good mix up make sure our meat is fully coated in our paste mixture and we need to marinate for about two hours so if we cover it in cling film and leave it to one side for two hours our meat should be marinated just perfectly meanwhile we need to prepare half a cup each of garlic and onions and dry roasted peanuts we will be adding that to the curry towards the end now I'm using Thai garlic which is very fiddly and very small um, but you know you can use any garlic so we want about half a cup of each half a cup of garlic half a cup of red shallots okay let's start with the searing of the meat so a couple of tablespoons of veg oil or palm oil in the pan on a medium heat or low to medium and then we need to add our meat what we want to do is try and sear the meat but we do not want to brown it all over we just basically want to put a little bit of a sear on the meat so all we're going to do is just cook it slowly and giving it a gentle stir occasionally just so it starts to sear and some of the fat start to break down so the tip is low and slow so we only need to close it up for about 20 minutes but we need to keep stirring it occasionally and the fats will actually start to break down out of the meat this will start to form our juice in the bottom of the pan Um, we want to add about 800 mils of uh, water I'm using water actually um, I've cleaned out the bowl that the meat was in so we can put all the residual curry paste and bits in there and put it all in uh, in the pan then we need to cover it up and cook for about two hours but we do have to keep stirring occasionally because it will have a tendency to stick on the bottom of the pan and we do not want to burn the curry so after about two hours we have to put in two and a half tablespoons of palm sugar obviously this is going to give us our sweetness in our curry and then we want to add about three tablespoons of tamarind paste uh, that's going to give our sourness so we need to cook this now for about half an hour but we do need to keep stirring occasionally we do not want to burn right here's a restaurant tip we need to put in about two tablespoons of roasted rice flour now that's going to help us thicken it up so if we cook it now for another half an hour the actual curry sauce will start to thicken so we've cooked it for another hour what we need to do now we need to throw in our half a cup of peanuts half a cup of onions half a cup of garlic half a cup 
or three quarters of a cup of sliced ginger give it a good mix in and we need to cook that for about another 20 minutes after 20 minutes our veg or our onions and garlic and ginger will have softened considerably in the uh, curry right guys we need to taste along the way we have to taste it to see if we want to add any more sweetness or any more sourness to our curry um, that is down to your pref preferential taste how you like it and that's it job done we need to serve up our curry Well, there you are guys, look at that. That is my version of my favourite restaurant, Angley Curry. Oh. The pork is so tender. And have you seen with this curry guys, that we do not use coconut milk. This is one of the curries uh, in Thailand where coconut milk is not used. Angley Curry originally came from Burma, um, but the Indian spices were brought across into Burma and from Burma the Burmese workers came into Thailand bringing their version of Hangle curry and Hangle curry actually gets its name from the Hangle curry powder it's got more Indian spices so it's more or, more or less an Indian type curry being brought through Burma into Thailand so I hope you've enjoyed this recipe guys uh, and if you have Give it a try at home, and if you like cooking real Thai food, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.